That's a nice camera. What's going on? I am here with Flying Over Trout from YouTube. This guy has a YouTube channel as well. You should check him out. This is actually a first collaboration for After Prison Show. Who are you? And how did you end up in my apartment? Uh, well, um, I jimmied my way in with a credit card. Your doors are actually really crappy here. I meant to talk to you about that. You have already proven yourself to have the proper credentials needed to do this collaboration. You know, people don't actually get a chance to see the background of what After Prison Show is really like. They really only get to see as much as my camera will show. Uh, real quick, this is not my camera. This is Angelo's camera. And also, and I'm not sure if you know this or not, but it's actually my camera now. I'm taking this camera. No, I don't know why you think it works that way, but actually if you and if you talk to me like that in prison Man, I swear like if you challenge me like that. I get you on the ground and just be what like, would you do? Boom boom <laughs> boom Boosh just jaw <laughs> Hanging over there and everybody be laughing at you man your fight scene credentials are not very impressive at all in fact to be a proven warrior fighter on YouTube. I mean, you really have to go in when explaining fight scenes. I mean, you really have to be Okay. I'd be like a machine gun just with my fist just like Cut. You probably wouldn't do too well in prison. Angel. <laughs> I just have to be honest with everybody who's watching this. They're probably thinking the same thing. They're, they're probably thinking if Angelo was in prison, you better not drop this. Oh, Christmas came early this year. So here we are. This is actually a first collaboration for After Prison Show. I'm quite sure I've said that already. But this is flying over Trout. And if you don't know who this guy is, that's okay because I want to tell you who flying over Trout, who Angelo is to me. He was actually my bitch in prison. I stepped out for a second. You didn't say anything bad about me, right? Kept it completely Disney rated here. All right. Yeah, I'm not stupid. You know, I'd know if you're lying, but I, I believe you. I appreciate that. <laughs> All jokes aside, when I first came home from prison and started after prison show, um, I really didn't know a whole lot of what I was doing. But Angelo is also a native Virginian YouTuber. Uh, he has a channel and I don't even remember how me and you got in contact. How, how did that happen? I was, uh, you know, you did a Reddit AMA about your art in prison and what it was like getting out, and I was just randomly searching. AMA Reddit. is asked to ask me anything. Um, I, I was looking for just random. I'm just interested in different stories. I was looking for stories of what it's like in prison. You know, I get curious sometimes, and I found your AMA, and I thought it was really cool that you just had a genuine perspective of what it was like. And all I knew about you from that was you were an artist, you did murals, you had some of your artwork in prison, and you, you said you kept a blog in prison as well, I remember yep, that. I and did. a prison diary, I think? It was a journal. Okay. and It um, was not a diary. Uh, well, you know, a big difference. Uh, there is a big difference between what a diary is and what a journal is. Yeah, but nobody cares. <laughs> If you were in prison and somebody asks you what you're doing and your response is, I'm just doodling in my diary, the next question they're going to ask you is, have you ever had the handle of a broomstick shoved up your ass? Oh no. No, no, no. Please don't. All right. I, I understand the difference now. There's a distinction. There's a slight distinction you're saying. Yeah, I found your, I found your Reddit Ask Me Anything and I thought it was really cool, the just honest perspective, like unfiltered that you had. Like you're not even thinking about how to try and make this sound, you know, like a particular way to reach an audience. You were just giving your actual emotion. Then I found your YouTube channel and I thought it was really cool. You did, by then you had already put interviews up that you did with several people. Like there was one woman, I think she was in a cafe or in your car or something. Uh, you interviewed her and one woman who killed her husband. From there, I got in contact with you right away and I said, I want to work together with you sometime. And now that was around August, 2015. So it's crazy seeing the difference where Back then, I think maybe you had like 1,500 subscribers or around there, and then since then you've just blown up within, it started very quickly within like a matter of hours or days when it first started happening and now to the point where you are now, and who knows by the time all you out there may be seeing this video. Or not. Or you'll be, you may not even watch this, yeah, once you see me in the, in the thumbnail. But uh, you should censor my face out in the thumbnail, like who, who am I? Who am I here with? You know, put a question mark over my face. Coming from After Prison Show, the exclusive interview with Jared from Subway. Don't uh, mention his name here. So eventually <laughs> we've made the time and now I'm here in Chesapeake with Joe 
and uh, shooting here for a couple days with them and, and see what we can do together to create a different point of view and new energy for both our channels. Is it okay if I put my leg right here? Are you comfortable with that? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, what do I care at this uh, point? I have no I mean, we this. are so close together here. But no, seriously, I greatly appreciate the fact that you come down here from Northern Virginia. I know that was like a three hour ride for you. Um, tell people out there what it's been like. Just, you've been here for about a day now. What's, what's the experience been like? Um, well, so we filmed a little bit yesterday. We went out with the homeless and um, gave away some money to them and to Uncle Billy, who's just fascinating to listen to. What were your thoughts on Uncle Billy? Uncle Billy's just fascinating. He's just such a genuine guy. I thought it was so funny how he didn't want to accept your money at first and said he'd pay you back. Uh, he was really grateful for that. It that, was, that was the important thing. And just to clarify, I mean, it wasn't even me giving him that money. It was everybody out there who actually takes the time to support After Prison Show. Uh, that was basically me just extending the hand from all of the viewers. It's my hope that in the future, moving forward, we'll be able to do, you know, bigger donations, bigger things for people who are in need. Yeah, that was a really nice experience for my first day here. And, um, you know, it's interesting, the whole Chesapeake area, it's so different from where I'm from, Arlington and D.C. and Northern Virginia. I mean, as you've told me, I mean, this is basically a completely new world to you. Just going over to Ronnie's house yesterday, you, I would never left you like with that. such a sense of awe, and what I consider that is just everyday America. Here's a guy, Ronnie, who goes to work every single day. You know, he has an uncle who is homeless, uh, and he's doing the most that he can for himself and for his uncle, trying to provide as much help as he can to a guy who is almost, in a lot of cases, unwilling to accept that help because he doesn't want to be a burden to anyone. Yeah, that was amazing. Now, that was a really positive experience because it's like I would never experience something like that, at least close to where I live. There's so many stories here. There's so many interesting stories and interesting people. Um, and it's just true. like just waiting to be documented and captured here, including your story, too. I mean, you're one of them here. I do have to say thank you to Joe for having me here and letting me be a part of all this because I really wanted to work with him now for a while. And it was nice to just finally make the time and say, OK, we're going to come down and do it. Yeah, and I, it's been something I've looked forward to for a while as well, because when we first did get in contact, you know, I was just starting out with After Prison Show, then After Prison Show basically exploded. You're talking to a guy who doesn't know anything about any of this stuff. I mean, my, my computer experience resume only consists pretty much of Pornhub. <laughs> And the search engine there, which is quite in... It's powerful. It's, it's a, a good search engine. I think that thing is probably uh, in comparison in the same wheelhouse as Google Earth. I mean, this thing can literally zero in on exactly what you're, you're, what you're searching cool. for. I know. If I search for broomsticks up somebody's ass, I mean, I'm going to find a million videos. Totally hypothetically, but yeah, we, we should say it's hypothetical uh, search. But yeah, they work really hard there. We gotta give props to Pornhub <laughs> well, for all the work they do. They're working their asses off. Well, a lot of fans of the After Prison Show, they spend a lot of time on the computer, and I, I do see quite a few comments that say, <laughs> straight from Pornhub to the video. So, <laughs> major kudos to them over there. They're working hard. <laughs> That's right, but uh, yeah, so I have more of a filmmaking background, so I wanted to bring that. I enjoy solving problems for people. I wanted to give some of that info to you, some of the benefit of that, and also your kind of channel kind of deserves it with the stories you're telling to have an extra uh, person to help out. I was going to say an extra set of hands, but you know, uh, that could have been taken in so many different directions. But just talk real quick about how many times, you know, that we've actually talked on the phone before even meeting face to face and how many times that I would actually call you and be like, Angelo, I need you, man. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Uh, so I'd say about like 80% of <laughs> phone calls you're trying to, you're asking about, you know, what to do with this offer or, you know, something technical or something. But, you know, that's all good. Uh, you need to ask those questions. And that's something I've been looking at for years and asking other people, other experts, and I'm not calling myself an expert, I'm saying I've asked experts on you know, uh, video editing and YouTube and looked at what everybody else has said who's already been there. And um, so, you know, it's good to ask those questions. It's important, That's you, know, you gotta be curious about that stuff. And I'm glad to share that with people, you know? Everybody deserves the benefit from that. If you're gonna put in the work, like Joe is doing here to do this, and now that's like a full-time operation. But even before that, when you were working concrete pours. Concrete you know, what? Concrete porn? I, I said concrete concrete pours. I think the audience heard me. Concrete pours. He was My concrete porn job. Concrete. But you are also someone who works just as hard at YouTube, plus works a job, uh, you know, bartending. Don't I'm you a bouncer. Do oh, bouncer. Yeah, bounce? Really? You're going to sit here and tell that lie? <laughs> 
Hey, that's how my pinky's still a little swollen from uh, punching a guy in the face, and I broke my pinky. The laugh guy. Bad. You should have seen the other guy. But no, really, he is a bouncer at a bar. It's, I know. It's almost unbelievable to imagine that. But... It's obviously not a biker bar or something where I'd be chucking out 300-pound guys there. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about martinis after work, you know. <laughs> yeah. But you're, you're a guy who works just as hard at YouTube, plus works a job as well. And, you know, I want to give you an opportunity to talk a little bit about your channel and the things that you do and to kind of lead you a little bit with that. There's a lot of my viewers who enjoy watching these prison cooking videos that I do where I showcase the prison recipes. But you also do cooking as well on your channel. I mean, you look like you look like if Martha Stewart had a brother who was a little bit younger who worked at Subway. Uh, but yeah, uh, talk a little bit about what your channel is and, and and the type of stuff that you do. So a lot of the stuff I feature on my channel that Joe's talking about is cooking videos, but not just that, it's with my mom. So her name's Angela, but she just goes by Angelo's mom. And she's just a funny character in herself, Greek immigrant from a small island and she has her own unique point of view and way of speaking. Part of the appeal to me of filming cooking videos with her is not just the recipe itself, but we have fun like arguing, uh, trying to like shout each other down. It's not all shouting and arguing, but I'm saying, you know, we're having conversation about other things in our life. So you get to hear the story of her day and maybe her life and what's going on with me when she's cooking. If you're thinking that this is a plug for Angelo's channel, Flying Over Trout, it is. Go subscribe to this guy. Because this guy has offered tons of not only like technical support to After Prison Show, but just also uh, like a, a listening ear. I would call this guy so many times. I've called him so many times just like, let me just tell you about what I've got going on, Angelo. And, I, and he would just listen. And really when you do this type of work, when you invest everything into something like YouTube, you really need to have an ally in this. Somebody who has at least as much experience with this or like in Angelo's case, even more experience in this than I do. And I mean, he's just really, really been a good friend to me since being home from prison. Um, if we were in prison and we wore cellies together, I don't want to talk about what potentially could have went down, but you really should check this guy out. Give him a chance. He's a very underrated channel that definitely deserves a lot more attention than what he's getting. When I look at you on camera, just in the work that we've done since you've been here, I've told you, you know, you were, you were actually like born for this. You really <laughs> belong on TV. You know, you, you just got, you got this, like this pretty, he's an awesome dude. He does these cooking videos with his mom. His mom is hilarious. Shout out to Angelo's mom as well. Oh my god. I can't wait to meet you. Yes. I can't wait to meet you. You have no idea how happy I am with you. I can't wait to meet you either. And that's about it. Again, special thanks to you, Angelo. Thanks Thank you for coming too. down here. Appreciate you. We've been having a lot of fun together. We're going to be putting together even more content uh, with Angelo. Been a huge help to After Prison Show. Check him out on YouTube. Uh, link in the description below, so click on my channel. I got a lot of content you're going to like. Hey, look, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did so, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know exactly what you think about my brand new camera right here. I won't even say anything this time. And as always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Can I get a piece with you? Sure.